Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I got another reaction video. I'm going to title this one, Men Are Expected to Trick Off. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Let's see. One thing these young brothers not doing is giving up no dollar. They're not doing it. They're not doing it. That's why, that's why they're living how they're living. They don't care about us. They don't care about us women. That the old the whole old heads, they giving up, they giving it up, yo. The old heads is giving it up. Especially the ones that's not settled down. Oh, they giving it up. They giving it up. Easy. These young brothers, they not giving you nothing. <laughs> you not getting nothing out of them. They go. Man, I want you to think about the statements that she's making and you will realize that in what she's saying, this woman is unselected. Older men are tricking off on her, the ones who aren't settled down. And I'll, I'll give you this, man. I've been married since I was 23 years old. I enjoy marriage. I enjoy being a provider. But you don't know how many women like this I had to properly vet to realize you're not it. You are not it. You know, this is the same type woman that we see making videos with the expectation of $400 dates wanting to go to roof Chris on the first date wanting to go to melting pot on the first date women watching this you truly have to evaluate your mindset you know if you want to be a wife are you going to spend your time looking at men as a cash grab? You know, being tricked off on? Or are you truly bringing biblical value that help meet mindset to the table in order to have your bills paid? And I would tell you, man, the, the tactics and the mindset of a lot of modern women is backfiring. It's simply backfiring. You know, it's not that men are not blowing bags on these women. It's men are wising up. You got to understand, man, You, this is not the only woman that will get out here and say some stuff like this, and it's on the internet forever. Like, I'm doing a reaction video to it. That's why the word says, man, a woman of a meek and quiet spirit is very precious in the sight of the most high. This woman is bumping her gums, doesn't even realize she's letting the true intent of her heart be revealed by the stuff that's rolling off her lips. Let's keep going. Let me back it up some. You don't know how many women that I've spent on a first date, maybe like 50 bucks. And these, these women weren't worth a box of doggone Fruit Loops. One of them little tiny boxes of Fruit Loops. They just wasn't worth it. You know, women don't take for account how much money men spend on them only to find out that they're not wife material. You know, this woman gives advice that if a man is 35 and under, it's better off for you to be independent as a woman. Let me ask you this. I want you to, I want you to truly gauge in the comments. Answer this in the comments. How retarded does this sound? And I'm going to give you an example. Listen to this. 
I'm an independent man. Man, I'm educated, got a degree. Don't need no woman. Got my own stuff, can pay my own way. Don't need a woman's money because I'm an independent man. But I have the expectation that a woman is supposed to pay my way. How retarded does that sound? You don't hear men saying that. That's a hypocritical statement. That's a, a, a contradicting statement. So why is it that we have so many independent women out here beating their chests? I'm independent. I don't need no man. But there's a plethora of videos talking about these independent women wanting the same treatment of these women who are pygmies and get selected. They want to be taken care of. What's independent about that? That sounds more like uh, interdependence than independent. Man, I can't make this stuff up. And every day when I get on the you, there's always something on here that can be used as a teachable lesson, a teachable experience. For the benefit of others, man, women out here, I would truly ask yourself, you know, evaluate yourself and your mindset because it is this type of mindset that will cause you to struggle. Men out here, I, I, I don't, some of these women is not worth a $5 foot long at Subway. Their mindset is just gone. And the Most High Yah talks about the renewal of the mind. You're not going to get any kind of value or help meet uh, potential or character out of a woman until her mind has been renewed. This is a woman that thinks what she's saying is so it sounds good. But she's saying independent is the way to go. If you independent, why are you looking for a man to trick off on you? This is why I said men are expected to trick off. And I would tell you, brothers out here, it is a bad investment. It is a bad investment to be blowing a bag, blowing money on these women who are of no value. The biblical woman, I'm not, listen, when I say the biblical woman, I'm not talking about no woman that just go to church. That ain't it. That's definitely not it. I'm talking about the biblical woman that wants to fulfill the biblical role as a wife. She going to get her bills paid. The woman that uh, truly wants to be cooperative, wants to be submissive, wants to be a nurturer, wants to be a help me. She going to get her bills paid, get all her bills paid and be able to, and be able to uh, wear what, uh, you know, wear decent clothes, nice clothes. This woman didn't tell you that a lot of these women choose to, to be buying stuff on Fashion Nova. That's where, they, that's where a lot of these independent women shop, Fashion Nova. She didn't mention that. How you think, do you think it was men who told these women about Fashion Nova? Or do you think it was women that told each other about Fashion Nova? Girl, where you get that outfit? Fashion Nova? Now when in her independence, she's complaining about it. Women, evaluate yourself. This woman, I would give you, I would say this woman is probably no younger than 28, possibly middle 30s. And you, uh, any man that comes along and tricks off on her is not going to get any kind of value. You got to think she's... Only thing she's talking about is older men that aren't settled down, tricking off money. What you think they tricking off the money for? Do you do? You, I mean, honestly, if you have discernment, do you think this woman is out here tricking off and she's a virgin? Or do you think she's getting these? Do you think she potentially, uh, you know, uh, is doing sex for pay? Letting these old men knock her off. I mean, just, just listen to what she was saying. 
When I tell you, man, I cannot make this stuff up, I cannot make it up. Men out here, man, I, I encourage you to move in the wisdom of the most high. If you think, man, you got to think about all the vetting that I've done in order to uh, early on in life, the vetting and the date. I was going on like, let me tell you something, man. I was going on like, I was when, back when I was like 18, 19, when I first joined the army, man, sometimes I was going on maybe two, three dates a month. Being in the army, starting out, I wasn't I wasn't spending that much, but I I promoted very quickly. You know, I was a I was an E six in the military before I even got married. I was making good money. You know, as I moved up the rank, I started taking more dates, and I realized, man, this ain't it. This ain't it. Wasting a lot of money per month. Uh, whining and dining women. I wasn't spending a whole lot of money. I was spending fifty, sixty dollars maybe. But that wasn't even worth it. You just leave out the date and you like, man, I wish I would have wish I would have came and ate something by myself. At least it would have been a better investment. I'm telling you, man, a lot of a lot of a lot of these women want you to pay a, a, an exorbitant amount of money for their time. And as a man, you're just going to have to go through the, the, the gamut of realizing it's a bad investment. I tell the story about how I met my wife, man, and my wife, we, we went on a lunch date. We went to Wingstop. That was her preference. And we've been rocking strong, strong. Simple woman always gets selected first. This type of woman is the woman that's going to get selected last. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight.